Dear students, today I am going to explain one two questions in mathematics. The first question is if both x minus 2 and x minus 1 by 2 are factors of a polynomial in x that is equals to px square plus 5x plus r so that p equals to r. The solution is here. f is a polynomial in terms of x that is equals to px square plus 5x plus r where x minus 2 is a factor of polynomial then so f2 equals to 0 so p into 2 a square plus 5 into 2 plus r equals to 0 this implies 4p plus r equals to minus 10. This is equation 1. Again x minus 1 by 2 is a factor of the polynomial in terms of x. Therefore f 1 by 2 equals to 0. That means if it is a factor the remainder will be 0. So in place of x we are putting 1 by 2 and then we get p into 1 by 2 to the whole square plus 5 into 1 by 2 plus r equals to 0. So p by 4 plus 5 by 2 plus r equals to 0. You find the LCM, the LCM is 4, then we get here P plus 10 plus 4R equals to 0. Now by cross multiplication we get P plus 4R plus 10 equals to 0. This implies P plus 4R equals to minus 10. This is the second equation. Now from equation 1 and 2 you find that right hand sides are equal. That means in both the equations right hand side is minus 10. That's why left hand side will be equal. And that's why we can write that 4p plus r will be equals to p plus 4r and then p we are bringing left side so 4p minus p equals to 4r minus r like terms we are bring, bringing together and then 3p equals to 3r 3 3 cancel and so p equals to r as it is proved now the second question is second question is the hands of a diagonal of a square have the coordinates a1 and minus 1a. That means a1 means FCC is a, coordinate is 1. In this, minus 1 is FCC and a is coordinate. Find a if the area of the square is 50 square units. The solution is let x units be the length of the side of a square. So the length of the diagonal equals to root 2 into one side that is equals to root 2 into x that is equals to x root 2 units. This is a b c d is a square in which all the sides are equal and coordinates of a is a1 coordinate of c is minus 1a and all the sides are x. So here the diagonal we have already got x root 2 units. And uh, although ABC is a right angle triangle, and so diagonal is square equals to AC square equals to AB square plus BC square, but we have not to use that formula. Here we have to use the formula for distance formula that is called AC. Here AC in the coordinate geometry, AC is distance is equals to the square root under the square of the difference of FCC plus square of the difference of ordinates and by that way distance formula AC we can calculate and AC already I have got x root 2. So AC equals to difference of FCSA and that's why A minus minus 1 and the minus 1 is plus so that's why A plus 1 to the whole square I have written then plus difference of ordinates so 1 minus A to the whole square and AC already I have calculated x root 2 that is equals to and a plus b to the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So here I have got a square plus 2a plus 1 and here 1 minus a to the whole square. So a minus b to the whole square and that is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So here I have got 1 plus a square minus 2a. Minus 2a plus 2a is cancelled and then a square plus a square is 2a square 1 plus 1 is 2. So here x root 2 equals to a square root under 2a square plus 2. 
implies that x root 2 equals to 2 I have taken common. That is square root under 2 into a square plus 1. Now squaring both sides, you will find that when a square root is squared, then both square root is removed. And so here it becomes x square and here root is removed, then only 2 is left. And here square root is removed, then 2 into a square plus 1 is left. Now this 2 and 2 is cancelled, then we get x square equals to a square plus 1 x square means side into side because x is the side of the square so side is each side is the area of the square so area of the square equals to x square and area of the square is given in the question 50 and here x square i have already got a square plus 1 so 50 equals to a square plus 1 this implies a square equals to 49 because 1 will come left side so 50 minus 1 is 49 and a square is 49 then therefore a equals to a square root of 49 and the square root of any perfect square is plus and minus both and that's why a value is plus minus 7. So we can say that a value is plus 7 and minus 7. Thank you. If you like please share and subscribe.